things really don't seem to be going too well over at Intel. This just in, Clear Linux is being shut down. What does this mean for Clear Linux users and why and how did this transpire? We're gonna be talking about the layoffs, project cuts, and this announcement for Clear Linux. But let's start with a little bit of history and understanding what Clear Linux is for those of you who haven't used it. There's been rumors in the past, such as this one, on the Clear Linux project forum. Is Clear Linux being discontinued? Yes. And this was posted on May 2023, a few years ago. A user had some suspicion after watching videos. I was just running this as a sort of background noise and then this dropped, asking, is it true that Clear Linux is being discontinued? Well, we got an official answer from the Clear OS team and Intel. No, Clear Linux is not being discontinued. That was a couple of years ago. And a couple of years later, it is officially being discontinued. For some background, for those of you that don't know, Clear Linux is developed by Intel and is primarily known for its aggressive performance optimizations that focus on Intel hardware in particularly, go figure. Originally, it generated a fair amount of hype amongst the Linux community because performance enthusiasts and developers alike loved it for its performance centric design and the way it was optimized for that performance. Up until then, it was really hard to find a distribution like this without just manually patching the kernel yourself or optimizing things yourself. So the history here in 2015, can you believe it's been a decade since this thing was released? Intel introduced Clear Linux OS at the OpenStack Summit in 2015, Vancouver. Initially, it was limited to cloud usage. Intel began the Clear Containers project to address container security in 2015. And the Clear Containers was a project by Intel to make containers more secure by running them as lightweight virtual machines rather than traditional Linux containers, which shared the host kernel. Eventually, they made another project for that. In 2015, originally, Clear Linux OS was deployed as a single monolithic unit. In May of 2019, Clear Linux released a new desktop installer and started a help forum, which we just read through. On July 18th, 2025, this has already been updated as of last night, Intel announced the end of support for Clear Linux OS effective immediately. Almost out of the blue, we're seeing this, so we're really going through how this is affecting users and where to go next. You're gonna wanna stick around, so make sure to smash that like button and subscribe below for more immediate Linux news like this. You wouldn't wanna miss another video. Now, some might say the writing was on the wall, as at the beginning of the year, we have saw some breadcrumbs for financial struggles, as Intel in 2021 swung nearly a 20 billion with a B profit, but in 2024, they actually operated at a loss of 20 million, which things can quickly turn around in these types of companies, but clearly it's lost market share in both the CPU space as it used to be a heavy hitter, but with more and more competition for AMD alongside these financial woes, they finally had to make a decision to lay off and restructure. Nearly 20,000 employees have been affected by this in 2025 and another additional, we'll say 5,000 employees are being affected right now in July. So let's talk about some of those employees because sure enough, a few of them volunteered and gave their time to Linux in varying different Linux projects. For example here, Feng Hua Yu announced their step down from both Intel and the RDT maintainer, which stands for Resource Director Technology Subsystem, which focuses mainly on CPU cache and memory bandwidth on Intel CPUs. Due to job transition, I am stepping down as RDT maintainer. Add Tony as a cone maintainer. This isn't the first person that dropped out of the kernel and out of Intel. As another long-term Linux software engineer and Intel employee, just a few days ago, turned in their badge after 14 years at Intel, I have decided to leave the company. I want to express my gratitude to all my colleagues, mentors, and friends at Intel for their amazing journey. The company played a crucial role in helping me achieve my dream of becoming a kernel developer. It's a difficult time for Intel. I am sure the company will overcome the challenges and come back stronger. Intel has a great engineering culture, and I am proud to have been a part of it. I will be taking a few weeks off before starting at a new company at the end of the month. This is from Kirill, again, a senior Linux software engineer at the Intel Corporation. Well, no longer. And Kirill here worked actively on Intel's TDX support in the kernel, handling virtualization enhancements. He also worked with memory management and CPU features. We know that he's stepping down from Intel. Hopefully, he continues his great work on Linux. 
And then about five days ago, we got another person leaving and seemingly out of the blue, setting the slim bootloader firmware project as orphaned. Jithu Joseph here updated the maintainer's file to reflect the following changes for two Intel platform drivers. Tony has agreed to take over maintainership of the Intel infield scan IFS driver and now listed it as the new maintainer. And Jithu here removed himself as the maintainer for the slim bootloader SBL firmware update driver and marked it as orphan. To the best of my knowledge, there is no one familiar with SBL who can take this role over. These changes are being made as I will soon be leaving Intel. So another long time Intel Linux kernel dev is leaving. Not only leaving, but we're losing a driver, which now we're starting to see this troubling trend of key Intel kernel developers exiting due to the layoffs and shifting corporate priorities. We're not only losing the people, but technical leadership, open source engagement, and long-term hardware support. This is weakening both Linux and Intel's presence in the upstream open source world. This is all very sad, and we haven't got to the saddest post in news yet, but instead of being upset, you can level up your Linux experience today by downloading my checklist, cheat sheet, my map, and now new flashcards, all at SavvyNick.com. Get it today, but now let's get into the biggest news here. The Clear Linux Project. Clear Linux OS is an open source rolling release Linux distribution optimized for performance and security. From the cloud to the edge designed for customization and manageability, there is no official announcement, at least as of yet, posted directly on their website. If you scan through real quick, you won't see any mention that this Linux distribution is going away. Instead, we see it in two places already. On the Wikipedia for Clear Linux OS, the first thing updated as of last night, Clear Linux OS is a discontinued Linux distribution once developed and maintained by Intel's open source platform and optimized for Intel microprocessors with an emphasis on performance and security. Its optimizations were also effective on AMD systems. Clear Linux OS followed a rolling release model. Clear Linux OS was not intended to be a general purpose Linux distribution, although there are quite a few people who use it as that. It was designed to be used by IT professionals for DevOps, AI application development, cloud computing, and containers. Regardless of all this, here's the official announcement from the Clear Linux OS team. It's called All Good Things Come to an End, Shutting Down Clear Linux OS. Posted here from Arjan, Clear Linux OS team member representing Intel as well. After years of innovation and community collaboration, we're ending support for clear Linux OS. Effective immediately, Intel will no longer provide security patches, updates, or maintenance for clear Linux OS. The clear Linux OS GitHub repository will be archived in read-only mode. So if you're currently using clear Linux OS, we strongly recommend planning your migration to another actively maintained Linux distribution as soon as possible to ensure ongoing security and stability. Rest assured that Intel remains deeply invested in the Linux ecosystem, actively supporting and contributing to various open source projects and Linux distributions to enable and optimize Intel hardware. A heartfelt thank you from every developer, user, and contributor who helped shape clear Linux OS over the last 10 years. Your feedback and contributions have been invaluable. This was posted yesterday, and many, many people are upset about this, as a lot of people have seen this by now. If you haven't, let me know what you think about it in the comments section. Thanks for the wonderful memories. We definitely miss clear Linux. Gotta miss AutoSpec, Godspeed. Thanks so much. I've learned a lot from this project. Many, many happy memories working with a wonderful team of engineers. I hope our paths cross again in the future. Darn, I can't say I expect this, but darn. Thanks for memories, folks. It's been an honor and pleasure. It's truly a shame to have to say goodbye. And it truly is, as there's much, much disappointment over the shutdown. As the overall community sentiment here for shutting down Clear Linux OS has received a lot of comments in the last 12 hours or so. There's a ton of disappointment over the shutdown. The overall community sentiment here is users praise Clear Linux's performance, security, and boot speeds. Some users have ran this on their servers and even desktop systems and now are scrambling to migrate. As you can imagine, the project was seen as technically excellent, uniquely optimized, and overall stellar. Of course, there's outrage as it is an effective immediate cutoff which is kind of unreasonable. It seems a little bit irresponsible, and some users are definitely noting that here in the forums. But overall, this is more of a frustration that stems from Intel's broader collapse. Clear Linux is just a casualty of all this. But one thing we gotta get straight is this is a case study on how to not sunset a project. 
as this has left users scrambling, as we need to look for alternatives that offer high performance, modern tool chains and optimization, a server or development friendly environment, and a stateless design. And only a few come to mind. First off, Arch Linux. It is a rolling release with the latest kernel and drivers, so you can stay on that edge. It's got easily reproducible build environments, a huge package ecosystem, plus the AUR for even more for pretty much every package under the sun. You can also apply your own optimizations if desired. This is a good balance here for clear Linux's bare metal with power user tuning. And you can let me know in the comment section below which one you think would be the best distribution to switch to after this unfortunate downfall of clear Linux. Fedora Silverblue or the Workstation Edition is aggressively backed by Red Hat. Silverblue in particular offers immutability and atomic updates, a modern stateless feel, just like clear Linux had, very similar to clear Linux's polish, but has active support. Again, Workstation is just as valid. Finally, probably the best one in my opinion, an Arch Linux based distribution that's claimed to be blazing fast and customizable. So this is an Arch based Linux distribution with built-in performance tweaks, much like clear Linux. They say here that it's designed to deliver lightning fast speeds and stability, ensuring smooth and enjoyable computing experience every time you use it. Whether you're a seasoned Linux user or just starting out, Catchy OS is ideal for those looking for powerful, customizable, and blazing fast operating. So the benefits here are much like what we see with clear Linux. Again, it has performance tweaks. It offers an x86-64 binary with LTO, and CPU tuning out of the box. And it's also probably one of the best distros to go to, especially for out of the box optimizations, similar to what Clear Linux offered. So if you still want that maximum control over your CPU and tuning and performance, Catchy OS is probably the one to go to. While there's no one-to-one -one comparison here, these three at least I think make sense in my mind as a transition. Hopefully this gives some Clear Linux users after the abrupt shutdown, some ideas of where to go. As it never had a massive user base like Ubuntu or Fedora, it still had a devoted community who focused on science computing, data centers, cloud environments, and just performance tuning. There's clearly tens of thousands of machines that have ran Clear Linux globally, and a lot of people on Hacker News and even Reddit saying how this is going to affect their production environments and are now scrambling to find another Linux distribution. This is an immediate problem as there's no more updates or security patches that are coming to clear Linux. This is now exposing the distribution for future CVEs. Anyone using clear Linux, please start thinking about migrating quickly. I know it's a sudden headache. It really sucks as there was no transition path and seemingly comes out of the blue. Even though we saw some of the writing on the wall with a ton of layoffs happening at Intel, it still sucks to have this disruption. Let me know in the comment section if this has affected you or someone you know, and we'll continue to follow the struggles of Intel and clear Linux. So you wouldn't want to miss another video. Make sure to subscribe below and smash that like button. With all this financial decline, mass layoffs, and strategic confusion, as multiple projects are now being completely abandoned, including clear Linux, OpenCV, DAL, and one API subcomponents, the sudden death of clear Linux here was very short notice with no transition period likely due to a layoff of an entire team in the July round of cuts of the 5,000 people we recently saw. This is going to leave a lot of people suddenly vulnerable with no clear fork, no clear path. Intel is in crisis here with financial loss, leadership shifts, and mass layoffs. Although they're saying that this is not a signal of Intel's retreat from open source infrastructure, in my mind it clearly is as not only are, have they dropped this Linux distribution, but have lost a lot of people who inevitably are quitting maintaining stuff in the Linux kernel as a larger unraveling of Intel's open source ecosystem. And honestly, credibility as well with the Linux community. Again, let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Make sure to share this with someone else. That way they can follow along, especially if they're using clear Linux. They're going to need a path forward and they need to hear this news. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.